everyone. It is Sunday, March 25th, and I'm going to take you guys along on my spring break. So last week was a bit of a crazy busy week. Wednesday, we had a snow day, and Thursday, we had a two-hour delay. Thursday was also my birthday. So I went to breakfast at Linda's Cafe, if you're local to St. Mary's County. It's delicious. You should go if you haven't been. We had an amazing breakfast and then went back to work, the both of us. Um, then we had dinner at Jesse's Kitchen, which is in Leonardtown. Again, if you're in our area, you should check out Jesse's Kitchen. It was amazing. Um, celebrated my birthday with my family, so that was really nice. And Friday, Friday we had a half day. Saturday I spent the day with Ian. My parents are going to New Orleans. And today we are going to Coffee and Cars. And I'm looking at Ian because he's ready to go. I don't know what Coffee and Cars is, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. hot mess of a look. I am sitting in the parking lot waiting to go in for my eye appointment. Today is one of the busier days that I have on spring break. Like I said, this morning I have an eye appointment. That's at 945. I have to run an errand to Walmart and then I have a training at 12 and another doctor's appointment at 1.30. So I am pretty busy, but not too busy, just appointments. But I guess that's what teachers do on spring break is that's when they get all their appointments done. Um, I had a dentist appointment last week that, yeah, I could have scheduled it for this week. But like I said, teachers definitely schedule their appointments on their breaks. That way they don't have to take time off. With teaching, we kind of have to like work around our sick days that we have and our personal days that how we want to use them. So right now I have like no makeup on. I'm going into the eye doctor with my glasses on that are extremely dirty um, and they're very loose. I have to get them tightened. Hopefully I can find out why I've been getting headaches behind my left eye. It's been terrible within the last six months and that was the last time that I had a doctor's eye doctor appointment. I do have to update the prescription in these glasses. They haven't been updated in the last time that my prescription got worse. Guys, my eyes are terrible. If you wear contacts and you guys know like what the negative numbers means, my right eye is negative seven. Here, I have the contacts with me, I'll show you. So my right eye is negative 7.5. Here, yep, it's backwards, but negative 7.5 and my left eye is negative 6.5. Holy man, like I have the worst eyesight. And an artist made a painting. Um, I don't know if it was like an oil painting, but he like blurred the images out and I s shared it because it was exactly what I see, blurred vision. Um, when I don't have contacts or glasses on, they like, I can't see. Like the closest I can see is like right up here. Like I would have to read a book this close to my face. And I'm not kidding. That's like three or four inches away from my face. It's that bad. Like, I would not be able to drive without contacts or glasses on. So. All right, so the eye doctor did what I suspected they would do. My prescription went up. I am now negative eight in my right eye and negative seven in my left eye. It's crazy how bad my prescription is, like how crazy my eyesight is. I just, it makes me want to just start wearing glasses all the time because it's expensive to have to pay for contacts. But... I don't like wearing glasses. They get in my way. I go to the gym and I don't want to have to run in them. During the summer I get in the pool and I don't want to have to wear glasses in the pool. And After my eye appointment I left and went to Target and did some shopping in there about an hour's worth of damage. Um, not too much. I'll do a quick haul after I am done working out. After Target, I went to Chick-fil-A to get Ian lunch and I just dropped that off for him and I am currently sitting at my trainer's house about to go in to warm up and do a leg workout with her. That'll take about 30 minutes so when I get done with that, I'll come out and do a Target haul. I do have one more doctor's appointment at 1.30 today and um, then I'm done. I mean, I'm dog sitting this week. I don't know if I told you guys earlier, but my parents are away visiting New Orleans, Savannah, and Charleston, South Carolina. So they are away and I am 
dog sitting my own dog, basically. Willie is mine, but my parents basically take care of him all day, every day. So I am done with my workout, and I am sitting in the parking lot of the doctor's office waiting to go in. It is about 1.05, and I have an appointment at 1.30, so I'm going to quickly do a Target haul for you guys. Now, the whole reason why I went into Target was to just kill time, but of course, when you go into Target, you can't come out empty-handed, and very rarely, I think, does anyone actually come out empty-handed. But I picked up this Sonia Kashuk makeup organizer and I plan to put my makeup brushes in these two holes here and then my makeup palettes here. And then in this section, I'm not really sure what I'm going to put in here. Maybe I do have um, two naked palettes and two Sephora palettes that I could put the Sephora palettes here and the naked palettes here, but I'm not too sure if I stick both of them in here if it's wide enough that it will actually fit. So we will see, but I really like the clear with the gold rim. It goes along with kind of what my bathroom theme is. I have a lot of white, um, but my main color, my main accent color is gold. I found this over the door hanger cabinet basket, and I plan to probably put my hair supplies in there just as an easy reach. I've always wanted one of these, but I never actually had picked one up. These were only $10 at Target, so I definitely plan on utilizing this, and I probably will go back to get another one for my other cabinet door and hang my hair products on. So one side will have my tools that I use for my hair, like curling iron, blow dryer. Um, I've been triple barreling my hair a lot recently, and the if I go back and get another one, since they were so cheap, um, then I can put like my uh, heat protectant and dry shampoo, get some stuff that's currently on a bookshelf, or bookshelf, get some stuff that's currently on a shelf in my bathroom off of that and put away. If you didn't already know, Ian got a new car a couple weeks ago and him and I have been really trying to keep both of our cars cleaned on the inside and the outside. So I found these Windex wipes that are already moistened and I plan to use these for the inside of my windows, the windshield, and and maybe like the center console just to keep things on the inside of my car clean when I can't always go to the car wash or to the uh, place that can vacuum out on yourself like by yourself what is that called I'm drawing a blank I don't know we can pull up like a full service car wash that's what it's called so I'm gonna keep these in my car and I'm probably gonna get a lot of use out of them along with me reorganizing my bathroom I found this vanity organizer and I really love it because it matches the Sonia Kashuk makeup organizer that I got the clear with the gold rim along the bottom matches this one uh, so I was happy to pick this one up and I plan to put cotton balls in this mmm what are they called? Q-tips in one and possibly bobby pins in this one up front here. There's one, two, three, four compartments. The last thing that I picked up and Ian's probably going to be upset with me is this Glade Plugins car freshener and I'm really glad that I picked it up because I usually have these like Febreze clips and these don't do anything for me and people might say like oh plug one or two or, two or three in your vents and I am not plugging in two or three of these Febreze fresheners and I don't even like the smell so this is the new car smell it is by Glade I've never used this before and you plug it into the um, like the voltage thingy that is in your car basically I don't know what that's called either but I'm really excited to try this out to see if it actually works so that is everything that I picked up at Target today um, can't say that I won't visit Target later on in the week during my spring break and pick up a few more things but I am going to head into my doctor's appointment it's about 1 15 so I think I can head in there and put my name down and maybe they'll see me early and I will check in with you guys either later today or tomorrow um, I don't have anything planned for the rest of the day. I may go and walk Willie while Ian is still at work. Uh, but other than that, I don't really have anything planned, like I said. So this spring break is getting off to a great start. <laughs> Hey everyone, so it is Tuesday and I'm just letting you all know that I had to come back to Target today to actually return this cabinet basket is what it's called. Um, an over the doors hanger is what I call it, but it was supposed to fit all of my hair stuff and the cabinet door would not close with it hanging. So if you've ever had something like this that hangs from the cabinet doors and it has these thick, um, handles here and your cabinet door is supposed to 
um, close shut. So if you have ever had these before, let me know what I was supposed to do because my cabinet doors, they're not like flat. They have a um, piece of wood, like an indent or something. I don't know. So I'm kind of disappointed that this didn't work because it would have helped out with saving space. And yeah, so if you, again, have ever had one of these before, or if you save space in your bathroom, let me know how you do so in the comment below um, so that I can kind of figure out what I need to do with my bathroom. So I'm gonna run into Target, make this return, and then I am going to meet someone who purchased LuLaRoe from us, and then I'm gonna head home and play with my puppy because what else am I gonna do on spring break? So I just got back from having lunch with my friend Hannah. I wanted to catch up with her and see how she was doing. After I made my return at Target, I came home and I just wanna quickly show you guys what I've done with my organizers. So this is the Sonia Kashuk makeup organizer that I showed you guys that I got yesterday. And you can see I've added my brushes into the top two, um, or I guess front two sections. And then like I said, I was gonna put my um, naked palettes and I have some Sephora palettes in there and they're holding up pretty well. I couldn't get the second naked palette to fit in there and I think I mentioned that that I didn't know if it was going to fit or not. So far I really like the look of it and it looks great in my bathroom. Um, I like that it's holding the stuff that I use every day. Um, so I think it's really going to work out. And then I am most excited for the other um, organizer that I told you I was going to hold Q-tips and cotton balls and my bobby pins. So this is that organizer. And then if you see in the middle, I have some like floss um, strip things, like floss picks, I guess is what they're called. And I was going to leave that... Um, part empty until I could figure out what I wanted in there. So if you go to Target, this is in the bathroom section. And right now I love it. It's holding my cotton balls, my Q-tips, bobby pins are in there and some floss picks. So I'm really glad that I was able to figure out what I could put in that middle section there and not leave it empty. But this is just sitting out on my vanity. I love the organization of it. And I use these items every day. I mean, I use the cotton balls to remove my makeup. I floss. I try to. And my Q-tips. Um, cleaning out my ears every day. Getting that water out of my ears. And then bobby pins I don't use every day. But it's a nice um, place for them to go. Um, so, and keep them organized. Hey everyone, I had a doctor's appointment this morning and then I went to Walmart to wait for my prescription to be refilled. So I thought I would do a little bit of a Walmart haul. Like I said, teachers on spring break can be a bad thing because all, at least I like to do is just spend some money. Money that I don't need to spend. Pedicures and manicures, if you go often, they can really add up. So I'm really trying to save some money um, by buying the stuff that I would need to have my own pedicure and manicure at home. I got an over the cabinet door hanger for storage at Target and had to take it back because the um, like top handles wouldn't work on my cabinet doors. So I'm going to, I picked up this $5 wire basket and I'm going to put command hooks on either end here and command hook this to my bathroom door. And I thought this was really cute. I love the wire rustic look of this basket. Um, it's still the same size as the basket that I got at Target. So it'll hold my hair supplies that I want it to. Um, and I just think that it'll work because putting command hooks on either end here um, and having it on the back of the cabinet door will work just as well as if it were to hang over um, top of the cabinet doors which wouldn't work in my case because it didn't work in my cabinet doors. I am headed to my second workout of the week with my trainer. I'm probably not going to vlog the rest of the day. I have a lot of grading that I want to get done today before I go to opening day tomorrow but I am for sure definitely going to be filming um, tomorrow for Orioles opening day. So if you're going make sure you say hi. All right bye guys. I 
pajama, like one pajama. I stayed in my pajamas and I watched Grey's Anatomy all day. It was the one day out of my entire spring break where I didn't have anything planned and I just wanted to relax and not do any schoolwork. Um, however, I did do a little bit of schoolwork. Um, I started writing the template for the comments that I have. We have to write narrative comments for our report cards, so I started writing the template for that. But other than doing that kind of work, I didn't do anything, and it was so nice to just sit in the recliner. recliner. I played with Willie, um, but I didn't leave the house. And some might say, like, oh, I can't do that, but, like, it's so nice to have those days once every blue moon that you don't have any plans and you just sit in front of the television and binge watch. So I did that yesterday. Right now it is Saturday, like I said, and I'm on my way to pick up Ian. So I have a few errands I need to run. It is the last day of like my spring break basically before I have to get ready for Easter tomorrow and then we start school back on Monday. We would have had Monday off but we had um, a last minute wind day you could say where school was called off so we have to make up that day on Monday. And I'm running errands to the grocery store, have to pick up some medicine um, from the pharmacy and that's basically, I might go get my car uh, vacuumed out and washed but that's basically it I don't have any other plans today either um, so it's another day to relax but like I said just running errands and stuff like that so I will check in with you guys later um, if I don't you'll see what I'm doing on Easter Sunday hey everyone I didn't make an outro video to my spring break vlog so I am actually back at school it is Monday April 2nd and I just figured this is where I would end that vlog thank you for coming with me on my spring break I hope you guys found it um, interesting a teacher's life outside of school I really didn't have anything to do over spring break other than doctor's appointments and I wasn't going on any vacations just relaxing with friends and family and uh, playing with my dog because I really don't get to see him that much my parents Parents really take care of them a lot so it was really nice to just spend time with my dog every day um, and kind of just I really relaxed that's really all I did I watched like over 20 episodes of Grey's Anatomy I'm now finally caught up on season 14 but I'm only on episode 7 or 8 so I guess I'm not completely caught up but that's really what I did on my spring break so thanks for coming along with me if you liked this style video, um, how you get to see a teacher's life outside of school, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified for any future videos.